Hey, this is Adam from Figmatic, and today I'm going to be showing you how to export your slide deck presentation designs from Figma to PowerPoint files um, containing editable text layers. And this will also work for Keynote and Google Slides as well. Um, but I am going to be showing you how to make it uh, editable so you've got text uh, that comes from Figma and gets carried over to PowerPoint and you'll be able to hand that file over to somebody and allow them to edit the content uh, in their tool of choice. So to get started, the first thing we need to do, if you haven't already done so, is install a plugin called Pitch Deck. And the way you can do that is just by going up to the top left hand corner of your uh, Figma app and clicking on the little Figma icon. And if you go down to community or plugins, and you go to the search bar and type in the term Pitch Deck, so that's P-I-T C-H-D-E-C-K and if you go to the plugins tab you'll see a result pop up called Pitch Deck Presentation Studio and on the right hand side you'll see a button that says install and if you click on that install button it should change to look like mine where it's got a little check mark and says the word installed next to it. So once it looks like that and it's been installed uh, you're ready to go and you can jump back into your Figma project. So today I'm just using a fairly simple deck uh, with 10 slides, or 11 slides rather, and it's just based on Deirdre Ram's 10 principles for good design. Um, so this is just an example of what a slide deck could look like, and I'm going to use this in, as an example to show you uh, how to export this from Figma over to PowerPoint with edit editable text. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is just right click anywhere on the page and go down to plugins. And if you click on the plugin called Pitch Deck Presentation Studio, uh, you'll see the plugin will load up. So this is currently loading up all of our frames from the left hand side here, and it's turning those into uh, slides. So we can see all of the slides um, have correlated to all the layers in the Figma uh, layers panel. So in this video tutorial, I'm not going to be going into detail about animations. I'm not going to be going into detail about speaker notes and how to present uh, a web presentation and things like that. Uh, today, I'm just going to be focused on showing you how to export this Figma slide deck to PowerPoint um, or Keynote or Google Slides and keep all of the text editable. Uh, that's really what I want to show you today. Um, if you do want to see a video about how to add these animations, how to add slides, uh, slide notes, how to uh, actually present the presentation. Uh, you can go to our other YouTube tutorials and we've got a couple on there that'll go into way more detail about all of those bits and pieces. Okay, so I've basically got my slides the way that I want them. Um, I'm ready to export this to PowerPoint from Figma. And all I need to do now is just go to the top right of the plugin and click on export presentation. And you can see here, it's just pulling out a little export settings panel. And there's a few little sections in here. The first one would be the select presentation format option. So this is just a drop down that you can click on and it reveals a few different export formats. So the first one is the pitch deck presentation URL. So this will actually create a web uh, based presentation. Um, and then we've got at the bottom, a static deck option, the PDF file. This will export your deck to a PDF. Um, but the ones we're interested in today are the presentation app options. So that's PowerPoint, Keynote, and Google Slides. So today I'm just going to be looking at uh, how to export to these particular formats and how to make the text editable once you do export it. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to use Keynote as an example. And I'm just going to show you what it looks like normally to export this um, for Keynote or for PowerPoint from Figma. So I'm just gonna select that Keynote format. I'm gonna click on Export for Keynote and click that. And what this is doing is it's just exporting these slides into a Keynote uh, file that we can open in a moment. And this isn't gonna be an editable, it'll be editable um, as far as the images and layers go. Um, but the text layers in this example will not be editable. They'll be rendered as images. So we can just open that up uh, now that we've exported it to our desktop 
um, from Figma. And once it loads, we'll be able to see what's going on here. So as you can see, all of the layers have been kept um, intact. We've got all of the, the layers as we'd expect, uh, which is great. Um, the only thing is these layers have all been exported as uh, images. So even the text layers are images. Um, I can't edit them. I can't double click on them because they are in fact images. Um, so that's great in some cases um, when you don't need to have editable text when you just want to export this to PowerPoint um, and be able to present it in PowerPoint then that's perfectly fine and rendering it as images is going to make sure that it's you know pixel perfect to the original typography um, that you get. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to actually export this with a different option and that's going to allow us to edit this text uh, once we do export it from Figma um, to PowerPoint or Keynote or Google Slides. So I'm just going to close that off. I'm going to restart the plugin. So you can do that by just going over to the right hand side, clicking on the little pitch deck icon. And that just loaded up the plugin again. And once again, it's just loading up the slides. There we go. It's been, been loaded up again. Uh, again, I'm not going to change anything here. I'm just going to re-export this presentation. So I'm going to go back to the top right hand side and click on the export presentation button. And it's recalled our presentation format from the last export. So it's still set to Keynote. I could obviously change that to PowerPoint. I could change it to Google Slides, um, but I'll just stick with Keynote for now. And the option that we're interested in is this new option that's been shipped in the Pitch Deck plugin. So at the bottom here, you can see a title, a label called Editable Text in Keynote, um, and it's currently in beta uh, status. So what we can do is we can actually enable this checkbox or this little toggle. Um, so this says use editable text instead of images. And so what this is going to do is contrary to the last file that we just exported with this uh, setting disabled, enabling the setting is now going to export it using this uh, editable text feature and it's going to allow us to edit that text in uh, our presentation app, be that Keynote or PowerPoint or Google Slides. Um, so it's going to keep all of that text from Figma and bring it all over. So I've enabled that feature and I'm just going to click export for Keynote once again. Uh, and this time it's going to use a slightly different export method and it's going to retain all of that text so that we can actually edit it. Okay, so it's finished exporting. I'm just going to click save and put that on my desktop. And you can see here that we've got our new file. Once again, I'm just going to open that up with Keynote. And at first glance, it looks the same. Um, but if I click on these layers, you can see that it's a little bit different this time. These are not images. These are actually text layers. So instead of rendering out an image, um, it's actually rendered out text from Figma. So this text is from Figma. Um, so that sentence obviously makes no sense, but just editing editing the text. Um, so you could give this file to um, somebody else who's not a designer who doesn't use Figma and is much more comfortable in PowerPoint or Keynote or even Google Slides and they can edit this. So this, this text is all editable. Um, you can change the text style if you wanted to for some reason. Um, that would be That would be fine. And then, yeah, you've got all of your settings here. So you can change the font size um, if you wanted to do that. Um, so I can make that smaller and that changes the font size. I can change the color. So if I wanted to change the text color just for this word, I could definitely do that. Um, and yeah, just a bunch of different options. I can change the alignments. Um, all of the options you'd be used to if you were just creating this from scratch in PowerPoint um, or Keynote. But obviously the benefit here is that uh, we were able to design it in Figma and then bring it over to PowerPoint or Keynote 
and uh, either continue editing it there or, um, you know, uh, letting somebody else take over and maybe just update the copy or something like that um, if they really wanted to do that. So yeah, so those are the two, two different options. Um, uh, there's, there's different use cases for both, uh, clearly. Sometimes you, you may not actually need to have the text editable and uh, sometimes you might just want to retain uh, the sort of pixel perfect nature of some of the typography. Um, Figma does have more fine grain control um, over typography, even with the spacing here. There's only limited options for uh, line spacing and things like that. With Figma, you obviously have much tighter control um, over a lot of the typography. So you, uh, yeah, you're going to lose out on a little bit of that by exporting it to text um, from Figma to Keynote or PowerPoint. But uh, yeah, there's definitely going to be use cases where you've got somebody on the team who just prefers to work in PowerPoint or Keynote or Google Slides um, instead of Figma, or maybe they just aren't invited to Figma for some reason. Um, so yeah, so this is the way that you can go about doing it if you need to get them involved and export the presentation for them to be able to edit. Um, so that's all I have to show you today. Um, it's just this new feature in Pitch Deck that I wanted to uh, to reveal and, and give a bit of a sense of what it looks like and how it works um, because in the previous tutorials you could only export um, these slides to images so all the text was just images and at the time there was no option to be able to export it with editable text and um, yeah so that feature has just, just come out recently and that's why I wanted to make this tutorial to show you how you can use it in your own projects. Um, so yeah, thank you as always for watching and we'll be back very soon with more tutorials.